Hello, my name is Nyla Harris and I am a senior graduating on May 8, 2021. I will be receiving my Bachelor of Science in Biology. Growing up on the campus of Elizabeth City State University with the influence of my mother, it really showed me the power of attending an HBCU, just the unity and the energy and the pride, the Viking pride, that really like grew me into this campus. As a senior graduating from high school, the first main thing that grabbed me into attending ECSU was the NC Promise. With the NC Promise being $500 per semester for in-state students and $2,500 per semester for out-of-state students, I automatically thought this would be a great opportunity to get my degree from ECSU. The second thing that really grabbed me or grabbed my attention to get into ECSU was the Army ROTC scholarship. I was offered a three-year Army ROTC scholarship and it was it has helped out so much. It's paid for all of my schooling and it has, ma has made my opportunity and growth here so much better. And the third main thing that has really grabbed me to attending ECSU was my mother. With her influence of working here for over 15 years and also her graduating here with her undergraduate degree, it really gave me like a snapshot of what my experience would be here. And now I'm going to be a Viking legacy. When I first stepped on the campus of ECSU, I wanted to do everything. I wanted to be in ROTC and still be in the honors program making awesome grades and being at the top of my class while still engaging with people on campus from the cafeteria all the way into the classroom. It was just natural for me to just find my way around campus and see where I really belonged. In bowling, I actually ended up becoming the team captain. I first was introduced to bowling um, by my sister who was originally on the team and it was a common interest that we had and we were the bowling sisters. We were just doing everything together, yelling chants, traveling, going to tournaments. It was a lot of fun. In ROTC, I currently serve as the battalion commander where I am able to guide and teach cadets how to become a awesome U.S. Army officer where they're responsible for soldiers and their families. In AKA, I have always wanted to be an AKA. When I was young, going to step shows was everything to me, where I could see the pretty ladies just swing their hair while still getting good grades. In the honors program, it really allowed me to travel and network and just see there are scholars all over the world in HBCUs going after their goals. So I was also in a lot of other clubs and organizations and it really groomed me and helped me with my time management to show that you can be a student but you can also leave your legacy. I just wanna let y'all know, I love my HBCU. Here it's just been so many memories that I've been able to create and just relive and just be able to really embrace as a student here. And for example, I was able to meet my best friend, Madeline Bond, as a freshman in the honors program. We had the opportunity to travel to Atlanta doing uh, the debate team, and we've also been able to experience homecomings, Viking Fest, just chilling out on the yard, fried chicken Wednesdays, and just being able to really enjoy that HBCU experience. I've also had the opportunity to meet the love of my life, Nomar Proctor, here at ECSU, where we've been able to really grow a bond and just push each other and support each other and just really use this university to reach our goal. And I've also just had so many memories and friends and build through ROTC because it's really a place to groom yourself and really get to better yourself for your career. Throughout my four years attending ECSU, I have really been able to understand the true meaning of Viking pride. For me, 
Viking Pride is family. It's been a place where I have been loved unconditionally and supported tremendously. Viking Pride to me is achievement. I've been able to accomplish so many great things and I plan to do so in my future as well. Viking Pride for me is legacy. It's just me with my mother graduating in the class of 1995. I am now proud to say that I will be the class of 2021. And who knows, there might be another Viking Pride for me. <laughs> so Viking Pride for me is love. I've been able to meet the love of my life and whenever I come to campus and I might be having a bad day, there's someone who will always bring me up on campus because I can tell that the love is genuine because our university is so small, there's family and love and legacy and achievements all around. As a senior preparing to graduate from ECSU, my HBCU has given me the keys to open the doors to success. My time here has been quite remarkable. I will never forget the faces and the people and my time just here at ECSU. As I prepare to become a United States Army officer, I feel more than prepared to go and teach soldiers and just be able to gain more education outside of my undergraduate degree. And I would not have been able to do that without the people and the lives and my time here at this amazing university. AC, ah, SU, I love it, I love it, I love it, EC. Ah, SU, I love it, I love it, I love it. Thank you to all of my Viking family and supporters. You all have just lifted me so much, you, I could, you would never know. Um, I just wanna thank Dr. Young, Dr. Harmon, A.D. Bright, and all of my ROTC family for just being there with endless support and just allowing me an opportunity to better myself and give back to my community. Viking pride, Viking pride, Viking pride.